Wonderful news for you now, for you fans of theater, and who among us is not? Certainly I am. Can't wait to see the production of Bye Bye Birdie by our friends at Guam High School. We have Travis Uggen and Haley Jones, who are part of this wonderful production. So, Hafa Day, thanks for joining me. Thank you for Thank giving you. this opportunity. All right. Now, what does it mean to you guys to actually take the stage and perform this? You want to take that one first? <laughs> um, Ladies first. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's so amazing, especially for people that love theater, just starting from nothing, having this idea of seeing somebody else do something and then kind of making it your own. And from start to finish, it's the satisfaction, is, I think, is like the best thing. That is kind of the essence of theater, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, like you honor the traditions and the story and everything like that, but you kind of put your own twist onto it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Definitely. So Travis, for people that aren't familiar with the story of Bye Bye Birdie, kind of like set up the time period that it takes place in and, you know, the general idea. So Bye Bye Birdie is based around the 1950s area where uh, you basically have your rock star, your boy next door, and then the, the girl is like going over the rock star. And this is like kind of based around the time when Elvis was being recruited into the military. So Birdie himself is like an imitation of Elvis. And um, it's just the whole story of like how a teen will fall in love with the boy next door, but will have a heartthrob rock star come into the town and difficulties come around. I like and I can appreciate the fact that music plays a big factor into Definitely. this play because if it was like the whole sock hop rock and roll right. era and everything like that, it's so much different in terms of how people dressed and how people talked exactly. and you know what people listened to and everything than it was today. Mm -hmm. um, Haley, was it different for you as a performer to kind of like slide into that kind of into that role? Definitely. Um, I actually play a Hispanic um, woman mm -hmm. in the play, so definitely that. Um, trying to incorporate that as much as I can. I think. I think it'll be okay, though. It was hard, but I think it'll be great. Mm -hmm. And Travis, guys talked a lot different, and they acted, you know, Definitely. machismo was a lot more different back then than it is today. The way, well, I'm basically playing Birdie himself. This explains a little jacket, but uh, I took more inspiration. <laughs> the hair is awesome, too. Yeah, thank you. I just got <laughs> cut. But um, I took more inspiration off of Greece also with, like, the style and the way they talked and things like that, how, they, how say, did they handle themselves. Very smooth. Yeah. yeah. A little yeah. Danny Zuko in and out of the play. Very nice. <laughs> well, that, yeah, if you're going to learn, learn from the best, exactly. right? Exactly. Greece, exactly. Greece, Greece is, is pretty much essential, essential watching. Where, where it was a milestone grow. in theater, yeah. Yeah, so um, how can people get tickets? Because I'm sure everyone's going to want to line up. They're going to want to bring their family, their friends, and they're going to want to blog about it, go on YouTube and tell people what a wonderful production, yeah, yeah. what it was afterwards. So um, all of our cast and crew were all advertising. We all have tickets. So if you can get a hold of any cast or crew member, you can definitely buy for them or you can buy, um, you can call and reserve a ticket with our school. Mm -hmm. And is it the production is going to be held at the school? At yes. Guam yes so. uh, Friday at 6, the doors open at 5.30 and Saturday at 12, doors open at 11.30 and at 6, doors also open at 5.30. Okay. Um, yeah. Travis, talk to me about the cast and how... Did you guys all know each other when you guys super tight before you guys all came together? And, and how have you guys grown as a family and as performers? Majority of the cast was already like a tight group due to class, like the drama class itself. But we had open auditions, so new people came in. There's some familiar faces from like the rest of the school, but some of them were new. Some were new transfers since it's a military school. They wanted to test their uh, acting skills. And um, as time grew on without the play, it was like, it was pretty well. We all bonded as a family. We all got to know each other pretty well. And we all handle each other like on a family basis. Is that more challenging or is it kind of, does it kind of tear down some barriers already? Cause I was like, okay, I've worked with you in the mm -hmm. past. I already know what you're all about. Or is it easier to work with, you know, fresh faces in a new role, new atmosphere, new play? I think it's a little of both. Um, I know personally for me, I, a lot of my character is just centered around her drive is romantically based. And it's kind of like we're fighting over um, Albert Peterson, which is another lead. Um, played by Javen Sotomil, and just, I've never played a role like that, so just kind of stepping into it, it's definitely different, definitely hard, but it's, it's been easier than I thought it would be, honestly, mm -hmm. kind of getting that relationship with him and not making it so awkward, so. Okay, and for people, that are, again, that aren't familiar with the story, this is a musical. Yes. yes. Yeah. Tell me about how you guys prepared as individuals to perform the singing parts and then, you know, like as a group when you have to incorporate mm -hmm. harmony and tempo and melody. Okay, well, for the Elvis type thing, the birdie himself, since it's based around Elvis, I 
went through a whole week of just listening to old Elvis tracks and some four seasons just to add a little bit of like the falsetto to practice that. That's not a bad assignment, bro. Yeah, I'm, that, I mean, I enjoyed the music. I liked the music before. That's why I was so willing to There's audition. a reason he's called the king. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I had to live up to it, but that's kind of hard because I've never been in a musical before. So this is like a new step for me. So mm -hmm. that whole practicing Elvis was a new thing. All right. Hey, Luis, we began with you and we'll finish with you. How about getting ready for the musical parts? Um, well, I too have never been in a musical. Um, I do like singing, but the type of singing required for the musical is totally different to like what our generation is used to singing. It's and it's a musical, so of course those aspects it's going to be totally different. But I mean, I love it. Um, yeah. Well, if you guys are truly into it, you know, you believe it in your heart, you know, the stage is the easy part. So mm -hmm. go out and have fun. Break a leg. Definitely. Thank you. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right. And everybody, and that is going to do it for our show. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.